Hi everybody, me Bong here. I hope you're feeling incredible. If not, let me give you some good vibes here. Take it, I've got too much anyway. I hope you're feeling amazing now because today you and I will play polyglots. It's still unclear when someone becomes a polyglot. Etymologically speaking, it comes from the Greek uh, poly meaning many and glota meaning tongue. So literally someone who speaks many languages. Now when I turn into math mode, this is how I count. One, two, three, and then many. <laughs> so a bilingual person would be someone who speaks two languages, a trilingual three languages, languages, and more than that, you'll become a polyglot according to my calculations. Others say you might need a little bit more than that, but who cares? Now, you might have seen people like that in action, it's fascinating, though it could also be intimidating. But today we'll be learning seven languages, so my goal by the end of this video is to show you that you can also become one, if you want to, of course. To do that, we'll be using the app Speakly. It's not the first time I mentioned this app, indeed, I've been using it for about a year now, and the reason why I trust it is because it was created by two very smart people who both speak precisely seven languages languages Ot and Ingel. They researched thousands of language learners for six years and created a unique method that teaches words and sentences based on their relevance in real life situations. The slogan of this app is actually learn languages five times faster. So it really goes straight to the point for you to get out and start speaking as soon as possible with a very simple design I enjoyed very much. I am telling you if you learn languages only 30 minutes per day using this app you'll become fluent in no time. And there is a seven day free trial so you've got nothing to lose. If you need a little bit more convincing stay with me and I guarantee to you, it will be more entertaining if you repeat along. I personally use it on my smartphone, but just so you know, you can also use it on your computer. Let's start with languages I've never studied before, which are Estonian and Finnish. So, I'm beginner one, it's my first chapter, and let's continue studying. That person, I think, person is a trap, it's not person. That's my friend. Let's try to form this sentence. Se on minu super. Se on minu super. Minu saber. That's my friend. Kas sa räägid inglise keelt? Kas sa räägid inglise keelt? This language sounds very melodic, no? Kas sa räägid inglise keelt? Ei aita. Oh, no is a. What is aita? Thanks, no thanks. Ei aita. So you really have to pronounce the h at the end. Ei aita. Ta on kodus. Ta on kodus. He is, she is. Oh, so it's the same ta. Oh, it's like Chinese. Ta. Vabandage. Vabandage. Excuse me. Vabandage. I speak French. Yes, I do. Ma räägin prantsuse keelt. Prantsuse. So prantsuse is French. Ma räägin prantsuse keelt. Ma räägin prantsuse keelt. Oh, here we go. Here's your daily summary. 20 words. 8% of any real life situation. So, I've got the same level in Finnish, which means that I do not speak it at all. Let's continue studying. Mina olen tässä. Tässä. Mina olen tässä. So you really have to pronounce the double letters here. Mina olen tässä. Who's that person? Kuka on se ihminen? Kuka on se ihminen? Tämä on minun kotini. Kotini. So in Estonian it was kodus and here it's kotini. Tämä on minun kotini. kotini. Tämä on minun kotini. Puhutko englantia? Puhutko englantia? Do you speak English? Minä en puhu suomea. Suomea. Minä en puhu suomea. Suomea is Finnish. Okay, now let's study Russian. Uh, I've studied a little bit of Russian, so it's not a completely new language for me. Так что, ты придешь или нет? Так что, ты придешь или нет? Are you coming or not? Мне надо идти на работу. Мне надо идти на работу. На работу is to work. I have to go to work. Мне надо идти на работу. Ты хочешь поесть чего-нибудь? Ты хочешь поесть чего-нибудь? Do you want something? Oh, do you want to eat something? Я пойду с другом. Я пойду с другом. I will go with a friend. Я пойду с другом. Точно. Точно. Exactly. This. Точно. All right, these were new languages for me, so obviously I struggled by getting a lot of answers wrong. But that's part of learning, especially when you start. Listening, repeating, forgetting, and making mistakes. They're all part of learning. But the next ones are languages I studied in the past, so I should get more answers right. I'm also mentioning that I'm using Speakly Premium Plan and that some exercises are only available with that subscription. All right then, let's move on with German. So this is my current level. I'm intermediate two, and I'm reaching 1,300 words. Let's continue studying. Wir waren vor langer Zeit Nachbarn. Wir waren vor langer Zeit Nachbarn. So we were neighbors for a long time. To move. Bewegen, nicht bewegen. Nicht bewegen. Nicht bewegen. Das ist nur meine Meinung. Das ist nur meine Meinung. It's just my opinion. Diese kleine Stadt liegt im Süden Italiens. 
Diese kleine Stadt liegt im Süden Italiens. Wir müssen direkt zum Flughafen gehen. Wir müssen direkt zum Flughafen gehen. We should go to the airport directly. Let's move on to Italian. I'm still a beginner in Italian. Che cosa facciamo dopo questo? Che cosa facciamo dopo questo? Tu vuoi venire con me? Tu vuoi venire con me? Noi veniamo domani. Noi veniamo domani. Questa non è la mia macchina. I'm not sure about the accents. La mia macchina. Questa non è la mia macchina. Questo è molto interessante. Questo è molto interessante. We're talking about this app, of course. Questo è molto interessante. All right, so Spanish is next level, intermediate three. Let's continue studying. La ley dice que los ciudadanos tienen el derecho a la libre expresión. Okay, I'm going to try to pronounce it like Spanish from Spain because that's the one uh, on this app. La ley dice que los ciudadanos tienen el derecho a la libre expresión. So the law says that the citizens have the right to uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Entra en la oficina. Llego en un minuto. All right, okay. Entra en la oficina. Llego en un minuto. So please, uh, get inside the office. I'll arrive in a minute. Ven. Corre. Tenemos un gato en el tejado. Ven, corre. Tenemos un gato en el tejado. So, come quickly or come run. We've got a cat on the ceiling, uh, not the ceiling, on the roof. Siempre se puede contar con ella. Siempre se puede contar con ella. Y puede contar conmigo también. Hay suficientes evidencias para probar el cambio climático. Okay, the last one is my most advanced language, which is French. Here you go. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Je m'en fous. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Je m'en fous. I don't care. It's actually pretty rude. I'm surprised. Actually, if you want to be less vulgar, that would be je m'en fiche. And even less than that, ça m'est égal. Ça m'est égal. Chaque mouvement de ce danseur était parfait. The dancers. Every movement was perfect. C'est la manière la plus efficace de le faire. C'est la manière la plus efficace de le faire. C'est la manière la plus efficace de le faire. It's the most effective way of doing it. With everything I've shown, I hope it gave you an idea of all the levels you'll find on this app. Speakly offers all you need to learn a language. On top of the exercise we saw today, you've got live situations, which are very short daily conversations. Uh, then you have listening exercises, which are longer texts filled with vocabulary. Music recommendations, because singing is an excellent mnemonic tool. And finally, as grammar can be tricky to understand, uh, just by guessing, you'll have a section specifically dedicated for that. Again, if you want to try it, you can download it right now by clicking on the link in the description down below. If you are a native speaker in any of the languages we saw today and you want to give me feedback, the comment section is all yours. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe. It only takes one second. It's also free, but it makes a huge difference. Unless, unless you really want me to stop making videos. <laughs> I wish you all the best in your learning journey and I'll see you very soon. Bye.